What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are picking up with another product review. Today, we are going to be reviewing the True Earth Laundry Strips. And I'm going to split this video into parts because I feel like I've gone in heavy with this review. So I'm going to timestamp each section and feel free to skip to that section if it is something that you are particularly interested in. So a little bit about the company themselves. True Earth is a Canadian company that is based out of Canada and manufactures in Canada. The story behind how they came to being is that a family friend of the co-founders actually owned the patent to a laundry detergent strip called Dissolve. Dissolve are the manufacturers of True Earth. And so the co-founders decided to license True Earth and give customers an alternative to the big plastic jugs of detergent that we see commonly on supermarket shelves. So, so far this ethos is based around sustainability and minimizing plastic, which of course on this channel we really like. So as we always say, sustainability is built on every facet of the chain, from the ingredients to the packaging, to the production, to the supply, to the labor. So the fact that it is manufactured in Canada gives me confidence that the people who are working to produce the True Earth strips are working in good employment law conditions where they have recourse to tribunals and of course to the Canadian courts if their working conditions and industrial relations are not up to scratch. It prides itself as a brand that is eco-friendly and sustainable. Now I wanted to dig a little bit further into this and examine some of the claims that the company was making on their website. So I did ask True Earth in an email to provide me with the sources of these studies in respect of a number of different eco-claims, for example, how much plastic we save by using True Earth and the general impact on global carbon emissions. So I did receive a response, but if I'm honest, I wasn't completely happy. I was actually sent on the following report that you see on your screen here, which is from 2011. It is the United States National Post-Consumer Plastic Bottle Recycling Report. And I was sent this for reference. It's obviously extremely outdated. So I could see where they were going with trying to provide me with some information as to where they garnered their statistics from. But come on people, that's very outdated. Doesn't impress me. I did a quick Google search and I was able to find a report from 2018. I can totally understand that naturally by a product being simply this size in comparison to a large jug or tub of traditional detergent that we are going to make eco savings, but don't just say that it is, show me how and why. Moving on to look at price. These are priced at 17 euro 99 per 32 load wash. That works out at about 56 cent per load of washing. So if your clothes are not that soiled, you can of course use half of these strips, which does bring the cost down somewhat. But overall, I would say that these strips are on the more expensive side of detergents. There is the possibility to buy larger packages of 64 for 25 euro 95 cent, which brings the cost down somewhat. This tends to be the case when people buy in bulk, the price of the product does come down slightly. However, I did compare this to a standard traditional laundry detergent on the market, which sells at 15 euro and you get 80 washes. That breaks down to 18.75 cent per wash which is obviously quite a bit cheaper. So True Earth definitely isn't the most friendly to our pockets, and I can completely understand how that would put a lot of people off this product. But maybe just some food for thought before we move on, will be to say that sustainability, zero waste, and being more eco-friendly in our everyday lives should be accessible to everybody. This is something that really is a pet peeve of mine, and this applies across the board to all kinds of products that are trying to be more eco-friendly but are unfortunately not accessible to the masses. And it is simply because they cannot meet the economies of scale that large brands do, where they produce in low-wage economies, they source their ingredients in an unfair way and they don't pay their workers correctly. And until these products become mainstream and more and more people do buy them, we probably won't see any cost savings in the consumer's back pocket. And I absolutely, completely, 100% understand how price can put people off and how price makes zero waste and sustainability 
inaccessible to some people. So that is something that I would suggest that True Earth might be more cognizant of and how they might still absolutely provide a quality product with properly sourced ingredients, fair wages and all the rest of it, but at a slightly more accessible price for the majority of the population worldwide. Moving on to ingredients, which is something that I know a lot of people will be incredibly concerned about. We have this great product that is claiming to be amazing for the environment, but what is it actually made from? And just to be aware at the very outset, branding on certain companies can be a little bit confusing and might be a little bit of a trickery game at times. Again, a story for another video. However, True Earth, although the name indicates that all of these ingredients are from the earth, not all are so just be aware of that now it doesn't say that they are produced using grass and filtered water so we do have to expect that there will be some chemicals in a product that is meant to clean our clothes i am a chemical you are a chemical it doesn't mean that all chemicals are bad it just means that we need to be careful which ones we find in particular products so the full list of ingredients is listed on the website true earth is palm oil free phosphate free bleach free and paraben free straight off the bat and taking to the internet to research these ingredients i did find that the majority are plant-based and biodegradable but in my limited experience in this area the only ingredient that concerned me was light mineral oil light mineral oil is used in the manufacturing process of the true earth strip so it's not actually found in the product itself it's basically a clear odorless substance that is a byproduct of the process used to distill petroleum into gasoline it is similar to petroleum jelly but all of those words put together just scare me a little bit so another thing with respect to the ingredients that was kind of a pet peeve of mine was that the ingredients are not actually listed on the back of the packaging. So the packaging actually tells us to visit dissolve.com for our complete ingredients list. I kind of just want to read what is in the product in front of me rather than having to go to my computer and research it. So that does put me off a little bit. True Earth, I would like to see the ingredients list printed on every packet of True Earth so that every consumer can pick up the product and read what's in it. Not everybody has access to the internet, not everybody has access to a phone to research these ingredients, and not everybody has that level of knowledge. So I think that is just a very basic thing that we can change to make a lot more consumers happy. So as far as ingredients and in terms of then as a result of the vegan status of the product, True Earth on their ingredients section on their website states that this product is certified vegan. Naturally, I wanted to know what body state agency had certified them as vegan. So again, I asked them the question. And I'm going to read out the response that I got from the True Earth team word for word, just so you can see and feel your own initial reactions to this and make up your own mind. So we are not certified yet as we are still making changes to our ingredients to make the product even more eco-friendly. We will be getting certified by a specific certification related to it being vegan and animal friendly. However, as that information has not been released, we cannot share with what this is yet. Now, take from that what you will. My initial impression was I'm not impressed by this. This is not cool. What do you mean that you're trying to make the product more eco-friendly when you've stated that you already are eco-friendly? So I am a little bit confused by this response. Again, take from it what you will. Essentially, True Earth is not actually certified vegan. To me, if something says it is certified, I expect that to be backed up by a reputable body with a certification scheme in place. And that is actually not the case here. They're just stating that they're certified vegan. Fine if they don't use any animal products in their production, that's vegan, but it's not certified vegan. Again, I'm being a little bit picky, but this is what we have to do these days, right? And with respect to the vegan ingredients, generally you might notice on the True Earth website that it does reference that some of the ingredients have in the past been tested on animals. And I'm quite impressed actually that they are upfront and honest about this. If it wasn't stated on the website, you would have to go digging for that information, but they make it very clear. They're very upfront and honest about that. And I do respect that. If you look at the MSDS, which is the Material Safety Data Sheet, which corresponds to American and Canadian laws with respect to information on chemicals and hazards, you can see that there have been a number of studies completed on animals. 
it's a sad thing but it's an unavoidable thing most of the ingredients that we are working with today have been tested on animals at some point However, I do like that True Earth has never actually engaged in any animal testing. They state this quite clearly. And if you want to have a look at the MSDS, it is available on the True Earth website and I will leave a link to it in the description box below. So really quickly, just touching on shipping, it comes in the standard post. There is absolutely no issue shipping to Ireland or anywhere else in Europe. In terms of the packaging, it is 100% plastic free, which obviously I can appreciate. And it is packaged in cardboard, which can go straight into your recycling bin. In terms of storing these, however, once opened, I did want to keep them fresh, I guess. And I kept them in a sealed pouch just to make sure we maintain freshness if that is even a thing i don't know but i just felt more comfortable keeping them in a sealed bag although they do have a shelf life of three years from purchase which i can appreciate is actually longer than a lot of standard detergent brands so packaging gets a 10 out of 10 for me really it couldn't be any better so the instructions for use state that if you have a front load washer, you should place the strip in the detergent dispenser. So they say that if the compartment is small or shallow, then tear the strips into smaller pieces so they fit neatly into the compartment. And I guess you would get better results this way. And also if your washer has separate compartments for detergents, pre-wash, main cycles, place one of the strips in each of the compartments. So these are just instructions depending on the type of machine that you have. And then we just go ahead and we use the True Earth strip like we would use any other detergent. So one of these strips here should equal one load. They say that a standard single load is considered to be three to five kilos of laundry that is lightly soiled and washed in moderately hard water. And I actually do like that they make reference to the hard water because in Ireland, a lot of areas actually do have hard water. So I like that they've actually paid a bit of attention to that. If the washing is particularly dirty, if you have a lot of stains or muck, then I would add a full other strip to make sure that you get the best out of the product. And similarly, if you only have a small load of washing to do, then I would half the strip. True Earth states that they are 100% safe for cloth diapers or nappies as we call them in Ireland. It's also completely safe for moisture wicking fabric that you would find on the likes of your gym gear. So it won't damage that moisture wicking technology. One thing that is particularly obvious with this product is that it is a no sudsing formula. This just scares people no end because they see their washing machine going around and around. There's no suds. Is this thing doing anything? Are my clothes getting cleaned? Am I wasting my time completely? However, this is specifically designed to be a no sudsing formula. Suds don't always correlate with cleaning power. It is sort of a modern marketing tool that brands use to make us think that the product is working really well to clean our clothes. And if you've actually checked out my video on how I make my own personal laundry detergent, then you'll notice that if you try it, it is also a no sudsing formula, but it works incredibly effectively. I had really good results with the True Earth Strip, but something to be aware of with my experience is that I actually dry my clothes on a line outside. So there is typically a breeze blowing through my clothes, which could account for some problems that I know that you guys have had with your clothes maybe smelling not particularly great after they come out of the washing machine. And I would also say if you are experiencing any smells on your clothes generally coming out of your washing machine, check that your washing machine is clean and working absolutely effectively as it should. Sometimes our washing machines also need a bit of TLC and it's not actually down to the product. If you are expecting True Earth Strips to remove harsh stains from your clothes, I would say that that is probably a little bit of wishful thinking. And I say that because if you are familiar with good washing practices generally, you know that you often need to pre-treat a stain, whether that's by using vinegar or by using a more commercial stain treatment. So to give True Earth the best chance of success for you, I would suggest always pre-treating any harsh stains that you find on your clothing. So let's take a quick look at some before and afters to get a decent idea of the stain removal and washing potential of the True Earth Strip. So the first test that I did was on a plain white t-shirt stained with fresh ketchup, jam and juice. These are all really common household stains that you find on your clothes. So I washed this t-shirt at 50 degrees with the rest of my normal laundry and although the entirety of the stains didn't come out, as you can see here, there is still some ketchup. It does show that the stain removal power and the cleaning power of the True Earth Strip isn't too bad. It's pretty good to be fair. And so I can presume that if I had pre-treated this stain properly, 
then it would have completely come out of the t-shirt. So the next stain that we have here is a tracksuit bottoms, which has been stained with some Indian takeaway food. Typically, these are also really, really hard to get out of clothes, but actually the True Earth Strip did really, really well in that wash and completely removed the stain, so I'm really happy with that. I would say the results with my white socks were the least impressive of all of the tests that I did. I would have liked to see them come up a little bit better than they did, but I'm also not surprised because anybody who does walk around the house in white socks knows that they do get quite mucky. It does get quite deep into the fibers of your clothing and the dirt can be quite hard to get off. I also tested the True Earth Strip on some cloths that I used to clean mucky paw prints off the floor where the animals come in and out, especially in rainy weather. You can see they are quite muddied up and quite dirty here, but they came out really well. I'm actually quite impressed. And again, it's not a bad result given how dirty these cloths are. And lastly then, I have a mask that has been stained with makeup transfer. And not all of the makeup came off during this first wash, but I'm not entirely surprised by that. It's a very tough stain to remove. I would say that if I went at this with a stain remover, it would definitely come out. So as I was doing my research for the brand, I also saw that some people had issues with residue or white marks left on their clothes after washing with the True Earth Strip. Again, I have no experience of that. What I would say again is to just check that your washing machine is functioning optimally and there isn't other detergent lodged or clogged somewhere from previous washes, which can often happen and there's nothing else going on in the machine that could be causing that residue. Just to touch on smell a little bit more then, as I said, I was quite happy with both products with respect to smell. Now, the only thing is they did arrive together in a package sealed just like this. Now, as a result of that, I feel like there is actually a smell on the unscented strips. This is because they probably sat in the package together and the smell actually osmosisized onto the other strips. So there is just a faint smell off the fragrance free ones. So I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt to say that it's because they were packaged together. But if anybody has bought this on its own and has still experienced a smell, do let me know in the comments section down below. I didn't notice any fading or discoloration in my clothes. I love that it's incredibly clean and efficient. There's no messing around with measuring. It's just toss the strip in and you're good to go. I love that it takes up so much less space in my cupboard than a traditional detergent does. I can appreciate that this product is safe for children and is a great alternative to detergent pods, which could be incredibly harmful if accessed by your children. And I really like that there was no residue left over in my washing machine after the full washing load cycle had completed. So I was a little bit skeptical about that. I was thinking, how can the water remove this strip? Because if you feel it, it's actually quite foamy and a little bit unusual, but there was no residue left in the drawer when that cycle was finished. So all of that product was used up. So my critiques generally would be that it's not altogether accessible price-wise for all consumers out there. So we definitely need to work on that across the board. I would also really like the ingredients to be listed on the packaging. That was definitely a pet peeve of mine. And I would like the claims in relation to the products to be backed up by more recent and relevant research. And I would like that where the product says it is certified, that it is backed up by a certification. But overall, the performance of the product was good. It did exactly what it said it was going to do. I do have clean clothes that don't smell. So to me, that is a success. If you did like this video and you liked the information that I provided, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Please don't forget to hit subscribe so that you don't miss any more of my review videos. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you back in my next video. Bye.